name is Stephanie, and today we're going to be making paper bag jellyfish. So to start, the material you need is a paper bag. It can be or any color, it really doesn't really want to be painting it. You're going to need a pair of scissors. Um, Mom and Dad, you might want to help your child with this. You'll need some googly eyes, paint, use any colors you want, and paint brushes. If you don't have paint at home, you can also do this with crayons or markers. It really doesn't matter how color your bag. <clears throat> so the first step, what we're going to do is we're going to choose our So as you can see on my plate, I chose red, blue, and yellow paint because those are the prime colors. And you can mix them together to make any colors that you want. So I think I'm going to start with a little bit of red paint. And I'm going to paint the top of my bag red. Now you want to you are painting the entire front side of your bag. Right? Only paint side because you need to let it completely dry. But if you want the first side is dry, you're welcome to paint the other. So I'm going to find a top of the bag red. And then I think I'm going to make a little bit of red paint with a little bit of yellow paint. And we know that red and yellow mixed together make orange. So I'm going to keep adding yellow paint that's the color orange that I want. All right? And then I'm going to continue my bag. I'm going to take a bit of yellow. I'm going to paint it all the way down to the bottom using my yellow paint. It's okay that it all get mixed together. So if you're a jellyfish, you can paint it however you want to. So now that your bag is totally good, you're going to put it to the side and let it dry. I have another bag that I painted a while ago that I let completely dry. You can tell it's different colors, but let's move on and tell you what the next step is. You're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut slits in the bottom of your bag. Just slits, maybe an in mom and dad, really any style that you want. And you're not going to cut all the way up to the top of the bag, only cut about to the bottom of the flap. So we're going to cut our slits. And you can see I'm cutting through all the layers at the bottom of the bag. First one. They really be the small, the they are, the more tentacles your gel is likely to have. And cut until you all the way to the end. All done. It takes a little bit of time. That means that this is really cutting practice for your kids. If you have kid scissors, it does take a while, but this is great. All right. I just did the very last. So, as you can see, now my, my dish has lots of tentacles at the bottom. What we're going to do now is we're going to take glue and we're going to glue the eyes. And you can add as many googly eyes as you want. I'm only going to two. And you're going to glue them on the top lap of your bag. So you need to do two little drops of glue. And it's a rhyme that I learned when I was in kindergarten. A little dab of glue will do. And that's all you need is a tiny little dab. And you really eyes stick. And so now, now we have a fish. You open it up. You can stick it inside. And you need to put it. How cute is that? I would 
it if you guys watch the video and decide that you want to make your own jellyfish. And if you see me or you're taking class, I would love to see your jellyfish. I want to see all your creations. So please take pictures, bring your dish to class. Don't hesitate to send them to Eric or Ms. Johan. And let me switch it. Thank you so much for joining me to make this video today. It was so much fun. I can't wait to do a video with you guys next time. Thank you. Bye.